I've compiled 10 ways to help you save on next year's classroom. Number 10, social media. Use YouTube and Instagram and Pinterest to your advantage. I always go on those sites to look at what other teachers are using and how they're using it. I then decide if I even need it or not. YouTube is a great community to get involved with because there's so many teachers that you can see them using their materials in live time. Number nine, Amazon or Target and Walmart sales. But let's face it, we love Amazon. We love Amazon because it has Prime. Prime is an amazing thing to have. Yes, it's $100 a year or so. If you're a student, I think it's half off or something, but that's your shipping money. And if you can get a material in one to two days or an activity in one to two days, that's amazing. And it's well worth the money spent. Also pay attention to back to school sales through Amazon, Target and Walmart or any other online distributor. Number eight, Bullseye's Playground. Target has created an amazing teacher community within its store. At Bullseye's Playground, I find whiteboards, cork boards, easels, folders, even book bins, all under $10. So if you're looking to save, go to the Bullseye's Playground daily, if not weekly, and find some things that will help make your life easier or just more uplifting as a teacher. Number seven, eBay. So many items are posted on eBay daily that are either brand new or like new. If you find something on eBay that you like and you think you will need it as a classroom teacher, buy it. It's well worth the save. Last week, I purchased a Plinko board off of eBay for $32, free shipping. If you're interested on hearing how I will be using my Plinko board in my classroom, just give this video a thumbs up and I will know that I can make a video on it. Number six, half.com. Using half.com is not just for college textbooks. You can use it to build your classroom library. I have found so many novels and texts that I want my students to be reading on half.com. Number five, Facebook. Facebook is another great social media site that has created a community of teachers. Join teacher groups within your area on Facebook and join online yard sales. There are great ways to find out what past teachers have used and what future teachers want and that'll even give you more ideas. Last week I sold all of my old teacher bins on our local Southern Maryland online yard sale through Facebook. I sold them all within a day. So if you're looking to save, join the Facebook community. Join the teacher community that is on Facebook. Number four, Ikea. Every teacher loves Ikea. So if you are one of those blessed teachers that has an Ikea near you, yay! Like I'm jealous of you. Our closest Ikea is in College Park, probably two hours from me. But Ikea has really great furniture for a low price. And if you can go to, at the end of the store, they always have like the items that didn't sell or the items that were returned because they're damaged or something. Those items are on sale for a great price. Go and check Ikea. Number three, friends. You can post on Facebook or any social media site or let your family know that you are needing to get items for your classroom. Tell your friends that you need items for your classroom. I had a chair that I used in college that is now in my classroom. I had a table that I bought from our Facebook online group that I used here at home and I brought it into my classroom. I have old teacher friends giving me their materials. Make sure you're asking friends and family for these items or just tell them that you are on the lookout for them. Number two, School yard sales. Some schools have yard sales. It's at the end of the year when teachers are cleaning out their classrooms, wanting to purge and get rid of some stuff. And it's the great time for new teachers to go and see what somebody else has or veteran teachers to go and look to see what they could use as well. Somebody's trash is somebody else's treasure. And last but not least, number one is to hit up yard sales in general. Find out when your neighborhood yard sale is. Find out when any yard sale is. Go and look at yard sales and you will find ideas that you can get for your classroom. Take a friend with you so you don't have to go alone. Make sure you bring cash because most yard sales will only allow you to purchase items with cash and just make a day out of it. So I hope these 10 tips on how to save in your classroom were helpful. If you'd like this video and you like my 10 tips, give this video a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos from me, just subscribe to my channel and stay tuned.